Namaste. Yes, it's me. I'm back again. Okay. Hey, I gave you guys a vacation from me, right? I did, um, I only did my dog video, um, and then I never came on. Okay, now it's Monday, right? Okay. Happy Monday, everybody. I have a few things to say. Um, I just did a little art video on how Carmela came out and Savannah. Um, I also want to show the shirt that my beautiful DC mailed me for my birthday. Did I show you this already? <laughs> I don't think I showed it to you. Maybe I did. It says, Be kind. Wow. <laughs> I'm reading it upside down, and I was trying to figure out if it said something else. But I thought it said, be kind, uh, with a heart. Anyway, thank you so much. And, it, and it's beautiful, and it's my color, but I didn't get out of my pajamas yet. Um, I'm going to be going to mail White Dove her, her gift. And um, then I'm heading over to Monday, the gym, okay? So my bae will be happy with me. Um, yeah, I, I had to have a, a talk with myself to try to get back into the gym or even to walking. And the only thing I really did was, well, it was a lot. I unpacked, which that's a big thing for me, um, to do before a month goes by. And this shirt, I think I'm pretty sure I showed you, this is from Awakened Butterfly. Um, she sent me several shirts um, at, with the phrase, When the low vibration clown comes out to play, give them your silence. And it's purple, okay? Yeah, that's what we have to do. It's hard to do it, but you have to give them your silence. Sometimes you do have to speak up, but other times it's better to give your silence. Okay, so we got the sage going. I did want to tell you that. There's a lot of stuff coming out um, f about summer. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on that, okay? But before I do that, I'm always on the case, you know that. I'm always on the case, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have my necklaces on yet. I know. Should I put my neck? Oh, okay, no, I'll do that another time. Anyhow, um, so I had done my cards. I had sat here and done my cards, um, I think when I first came back, um, for summer, but I never got a chance to, to show you guys, all right? Because when I work, sometimes I get a migraine, um, which I got on Friday, and I was literally, after work, I went straight home from work, which I usually never do. I stay in my car and party it up and do a video. Didn't do that on Friday. Friday, I went straight home, and I actually had, I took a uh, muscle relaxant, and of course it didn't work. And then I laid in bed with my feet up and that helped a lot because you gotta, sometimes your circulation is, you know, down all day. I felt like my blood pressure went up high. Um, yeah, I felt like my blood pressure went up high and I didn't understand why, but then I remembered I was doing math. I had two third grade classes for math and I, your girl's not good at math, okay? In case you didn't notice, all right? so. Sorry about the no makeup and not, I did put on a little lip, right? So anyhow, it's not about me. It's about summer. It's about these kids. So, um, yeah, another thing, um, I just want to give an empath alert out there. Now, what is an empath alert? I don't know. I just made it up. Okay. <laughs> um, an empath alert is... If you're empathetic uh, or sensitive uh, or any way, shape, a, a part of psychic, um, intuitive even, you're going to have a hard time with the news that comes out, um, especially having to do with children. And um, that was another thing. I did not know. I worked on Gannon's case. I worked on looking for him. Um, 
loved him so much. He's my spirit guide. I, I still, of course, I love him so much. And um, I still talk with him. And he's the one who told me to look for Tylee and JJ. And he's the one who told me to uh, get busy on summer. And I said, no. And he said, I, I said, do I have to? And he said, she could be my little sister. She could be like my little sister. So I said, of course. And, you know, but what I want to say is, um, and this is for entertainment reasons only, and everybody is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law in the United States of America. Okay, that's my disclaimer. That being said, in entertainment reasons only, let me entertain you. I am a cl circus clown. Okay. <laughs> Can I entertain you? Can I make you smile? And if you're real good, I'll make you feel good. <laughs> but, okay, sorry. That was from Gypsy Lee, one of my favorite movies in history. Um, anyhow, not that I'm a stripper, okay? Too fat to be a stripper. Anyhow, only kidding. Too smart to be a stripper. So, uh, <laughs> Mama, I'm beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Mama, I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful, Mama. <laughs> there was a scene from that. Okay, wait, let me take a sip of coffee. I'm totally ridiculous, okay? It's ice cold, but one of the best coffees in the world is still McCafe from McDonald's. That didn't change. That did not change. Even though it's ice, ice cold, I'm still going to drink it. Pretend it's hot. Yes, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Mm. Okay, so what I want to say to empaths is maybe if I close my eyes, I can concentrate better. Empaths out there, intuitives out there, people remotely psychic, one, a shout out for one of my subs from the past and I just saw her recently and I was so happy to see her because I have not seen her in a dog's day. That is really an old fashioned um, phrase and my millennial audience will not get that. Some people will. Anyhow, I haven't seen her in a long time. Her name is Little Leah. Little Leah. And she just popped up on, in my um, one of my videos and I was so happy to see her again. Anyhow, um, yeah, sometimes some people come back. A lot of people have been having dreams of summer, not just me. I put, I put mine out there because I knew there was going to be other people that have dreams and visions. Okay, now, you don't have to be scared if it's just something you see in your mind when you're, you're awake. Because that's how most mediums work. They don't have to wait till they go to sleep. Okay, and some of us don't sleep. Do you feel me? Okay, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, so if if, if it wasn't for day mares um, and day visions, I wouldn't have any visions at all, uh, mostly. Um, anyhow, protect yourself by saging it up. Okay, white sage. White sage is the best. I would totally take stock in it, but don't buy it out. Don't buy the company out because, you know, that'll go out of business. So just freebase this a little bit. Let it go around your avenue. As you're letting it burn, be very positive. Be very up vibration. Try not to think about sad things. Try to put a positive intention out like, I'm so happy and grateful. My home is protected and safe. Okay? Like I tell my dog, he's very afraid of... Um, his name was, as a puppy, they named him Spook or Spooky because he's afraid of ghosts. He's afraid of his shadow. At night, when, when like I'm standing next to him outside, my reflection's on the window, and he thinks that's a person. So he gets like all scared and everything. So I told him last night that ghosts, only good ghosts are around you. Okay, Casper, only good ghosts are around you. Uh, I don't know if he understood me or not. He's still afraid. But anyhow, um, yeah, if you feel like you have a lot of negative energy, negative things happening, physical things happening, um, 
even like coughs and colds and um, viruses and stuff, burn some sage. Burn some white sage and say a little prayer, or if you don't believe in prayers, say a little intention. This room is very peaceful and creative and happy and loving, okay? I receive only loving and happy thoughts. I have spirits around me that love me and take care of me, and protect me, okay? Thank you in Jesus' name. Okay, so protect your environment, even your car. Protect your car. Make sure that, like some people, um, they're having like accident after accident or one thing go goes wrong in the car, something else breaks, so they get it fixed, something else breaks. Well, what are you doing in your car? Is there some kind of negative stuff going on in your car? Are you thinking about a lot of bad things or your fears? Are you looking into your fears too much? Look into your dreams more. When you get into your car, just say, I'm going to have a beautiful trip. I'm going to have a nice uh, drive to the store, to my job, to my friend's house, wherever you're going. Think positively about it, even if you just say it out loud in your car, okay? I'm so happy and grateful I have this car. Thank you, dear God, for this vehicle, okay? Did you like the use of the vehicle word? I did. Okay, anyhow. Um, I don't know how you put up with me. All right, so again, I'm holding this and this. This is crystal quartz, as you know, clear cl crystal quartz. And this is also quartz. Okay, this is actually a scrying ball. I don't scry, though. I don't scry. But I just hold it. I like to hold it for different energies. And I have my this one from Amy. Okay, thank you for correcting me. Um, and I have this one from Devin. It's like a, I forget the name of this, hematite? No, not hematite. Somebody out there will know it. I wish I was better at the names of crystals, um, but I'm still learning like everybody else. Anyhow, so with all this craziness and the SA and the physically abused kids and um, horribly emotionally abused, the three boys, Candace and Don's three boys, we have to pray more for them. Um, they have been totally separated, and the reason why is because they have been violently abused. They have been abused for so many years that they don't even know the difference. Okay, maybe a little part in their head knows, I don't think my friends at school, when they get a, a seven-inch cut, I think they go to the hospital and they get it sewn up. Their parent doesn't sew it up, okay? All these bad things happened to them, and they never went to the dentist, not once. Oldest one is thir turned 13. The middle one, the youngest is nine, and the youngest boy is nine, fourth grade. And the middle one is, I think, 10, fifth grade. Yeah, so the 13-year-old one was probably supposed to go into junior high. I don't know if he ever went to school because we had COVID and I, they were supposed to be homeschooled. And do you think any of them were being homeschooled? Uh, no. So, so many levels were they abused. And so we have to pray for them. Dear God, please protect the three Wells boys and let them have safe homes where they'll be nurtured, fed, with both food and beautiful words, positive words about them, and loved and cherished by their new family. Thank you, dear God. Let them feel the love from other people. and Let them be able to start their life over in a different state. I heard that all three of them are in different states. They're not in Tennessee. And you know what? At first I was upset about that. You want to keep the boys together. You want to keep family members together, siblings together. But then I thought, because I was asking God and I was asking my guides. And you know what they said to me? It came to me. And they put it in my mind because I'm always like, I'm from a family of six. And I hated when my three older siblings got left and got married. I hated that because I thought, when are they coming home? 
they're supposed to be here okay so I can understand they want to be together with you know at least their siblings but then I thought and I heard you no know, that they called me Kathleen you know my regular name I, I didn't just dox myself with it doesn't matter but they said you know that they have to be apart so that they can have a separate life because the life that they had was so traumatic that to deal with three traumatic incidents, three traumatic, three people that have had traumatic incidences and say you take all three boys and you put them in one family as foster care, okay, which that's what will happen. That one kid is going to be acting out, the other one's going to be getting in trouble in school, the other one's just going to have a little learning problems, difficulties, and probably hitting himself or just going inward and not talking. The one that was um, similar age to, well, you know, a couple of years older than Summer. Um, if you looked in the pictures of him, they were always forced smiles, and he just looked like he was in a lot of pain emotionally. Um, all of them were. But uh, the middle one, I feel like, uh, will be better off. Um, will do the best. Why? Some people are more resilient. Some some kids are more resilient than others. Um, but what they told me in my head was that if they have separate families, then they could just deal with that one child and give them all the love and the understanding and the services that they need, that one child. If they had all three of them, they're going to get overwhelmed and Maybe they would just say, oh, forget it. I'm not going to keep this kid. This is too much work. You know, he's acting out too much. Uh, he's doing, he's stealing from his brothers and sisters. Um, and, you know, he's, he's doing too many odd things. Um, because it, it, it's been out there in the media. I, this is allegedly um, Allison's daughter, True. Um, who's 16 years old, I think, I believe. So Hunter is 15, and she is, I guess, one year older than Hunter. Her name is True. She came out to the media. Um, I don't know who, uh, what what um, YouTuber it was. Uh, if anybody knows, put it in the comments. But um, she came out and said, allegedly, that the, the kids were fed alcohol the kids the little kids okay there's four kids there's summer who's five this this um and when when this happened she was only four because remember they weren't friends for a year um you know the other one eight eight ten and eleven years old they were and the oldest boy I'm not going to say his name, but it's, it's out there, but um, it starts with a J. He was allowed to have alcohol and pot. He smoked pot. Okay. You understand? I mean, I understand teenagers, you know, that's when they start doing all those things, smoking and drinking. But we're not talking about teenagers. We're talking about young babies, elementary school kids. That's babies. She, Summer wasn't even elementary. Summer was considered pre-K. And I'm sure she would have been on the spectrum um, from what I saw in my 30 years of teaching. She was definitely going to be on the spectrum. She didn't have any schooling, any pre-K, any, um, you know, learning centers beforehand. Um, I forget. Head Start. She could have been put in a Head Start program, which is a state-funded program that's for free for anybody who can't afford um, to pay and uh, she could have been going there since she was two years old um, but no no school for her ever so that came out so that's why we have to continue and we have to pray for Hunter we have to pray for True okay because remember they are yeah they're teenagers and this all happened when he was 14. So literally, Hunter is only 
less than two years older than uh, Don and Candace's oldest son. Okay? I'm not talking about their other kids from other marriages. I'm talking about these four kids. And then we ha you have Hunter and you have True. They're still kids. <sighs> they were given alcohol and pot by Candace. Candace picked up True without her, her mom, Allison, knowing. Okay? Why isn't she in jail? Why isn't Clink Clink happening for her? So that's two minors that she, she gave to. Okay? So I, I, I'm very upset with that. And so I'm telling you empaths out there, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's, it'll get worse. It's going to get worse. And just like I found out with Gannon on Friday, I didn't know that he was shot in his face. I didn't know. I worked on his case. I didn't know that he had 18 stab wounds. me to do this work you have to help me to find these kids I mean I know Gannon is found and I told I finally told whoa whoa don't fall on me I told Devin part of the reason why I had that migraine on Friday when I get it it doesn't matter what pills I take I didn't have any Excedrin my sister who's a nurse told me to get Excedrin but I didn't have any left I had Advil that didn't work um, <clears throat> 750 milligrams of uh, uh, muscle relaxant that didn't work um, and and so what happens is it's a metaphysical thing I have to figure out the problem that I'm worried about and and say a whole bunch of prayers and talk to my guides and talk to God and then slowly it'll unlock and I'll feel better but usually when I'm in that state, I can't even come on um, and do a video because I enjoy doing videos. I enjoy um, vlogging and doing the readings and stuff. But I just, I, I, I don't know. I guess I avoided to read any of the paperwork on Gannon. And, I, and I, when I told Devin, he goes, but that little boy was found. So what are you worried about? And I said, what am I worried about? I, I feel every pain that he went through, and I want to beat up Leticia Stock. And that's not Zen, and that's not Christian y, but I would like to just make her feel the pain that she made Gannon feel. And that every day, Gannon's little sister and mother, real mom, and father will go through that pain. It's not fair. And I, I said to God, and the whole thing with Summer, of course she's been abused. I know it. I mean, just go back to my readings from the beginning, if anybody cares. Go back to what I said in the beginning. I did so many. I'm about to do one more. I shouldn't say one more because you never know. But um, I said to God, what difference does it, what I do make if I'm not able to get, find Summer and put these people behind bars? I mean, at least Susan Morphew, the husband's behind bars, okay? Cinco de Mayo was, is going to remain my favorite day. One of my favorite days. Anyhow, I just said to God, I, I, what good is having this gift if all I do is feel the pain that the kids are getting over and over again? 
I mean, Leticia Stark is in jail. She's been in jail. That doesn't make me feel good. I see Gannon sitting on his rock. When I go to the post office, I see him sitting there. Some days he's happier than other days. He's sitting there like this. Hi, Katrina. And I say, I'm sorry. You went through that pain. We love you so much. I don't, I didn't know he was shot in his face. I didn't know that he had all those wounds. The stab wounds and a cracked skull. And I, I felt it all. And what good is having this gift if I can help anybody? God to let me know about it. I know he will. I felt a little bit better the next day. Because I can hear, I can hear the voices and I can hear them say, I want to be found. Katrina, I want to be found and I want them to find me. And I saw some are being happy with the butterfly and over by the water and her legs were in the water and the fish were jumping over, like, almost like dolphins. They were jumping up and down and they were beautiful, beautiful orange colors, yellow, rainbow colors, purple. But she was mostly focused on that butterfly that had a little face. It wasn't creepy or anything. It was beautiful. It was like cartoon. And the face looked at, uh, like an angel. The face looked at her and then looked at me and only jumped to me for a second. So I don't know what it means. I, I will tell you that. Gannon, he's in the courtroom. He's, he's with his family in the courtroom. puts his hand over his mother's shoulder and like he sit, sits in the middle and puts his arm over his mother. I feel like his mother's to the left and his father's to the right. I don't think his sister is in there. That's not a good place for her to be in there. But So I just want to tell empaths to protect yourself. because it's a lot. And it's hard on your crown chakra, it's hard on your third eye. The best thing probably uh, that I wasn't doing, that I should do, my bayo tells me to do it, is to get, go out and walk, go out, go to the gym. So and sometimes, uh, well, I got my nails done and my pedicure, manicure, pedicure, which was a lot of money. Anyway, um, little things help you to feel better, but I just, I. I don't have a full answer on it. I just feel like, just do it. They just tell me to just do it. Just do another card reading. Just try, just, you know, do the angel cards and something will come up. Something will come in my mind. Um, like that v beautiful vision of, of Summer told me, and most of you let me know in the comments that, um, Sorry for crying. I don't mean to upset anybody, but I should have just maybe not shown my face. Such a narcissist, right? But anyhow, I think maybe what I'm going through is a lot of people going through 
because uh, I have a lot of friends that are empaths out there and psychics and mediums and channelers and remote viewers and um, maybe you're feeling the same way. I mean, it could physically make you sick so that you don't, you can't do the reading. It, like, like I said, if I have the migraine, there's no readings to be had. There's me laying down. There's me sitting on my couch. There's me going nowhere because I can't even just to hear something, hear like a, a certain noise or a smell. I'm dead. You know, I can't do it. But I think what the children tell me, you know, and like I, I cried about Gannon. Yeah, One second. I'm trying to light this and cry in between. We'll cry tomorrow, right? Let's get some Palo Santo up in this bitch. Also, Palo Santo is very good for um, cleansing. Just let it burn a little bit so that the tip of it gets all up in there. And then blow it out. It's like 30 seconds. And then first mount is really good. Get it, Palo Santo all, all over you. That's It heals you. It gets negative energy off you. Crown chakra. Try not to burn your hair. Okay. So, um, basically, I think what the kids were trying to tell me, because I cried about Gannon's injuries, and I can't watch it. I can't even... When I see a picture in the thumbnail of that witch... That's enough to give me nightmares. And I don't, I worry about her daughter. I really do. I, I, I don't think she's getting the psychological care that she needs to be getting. That, that's your mother. And her father died when she was young, so. She was not allowed to stay with the, the um, Gannon's mother and uh, Gannon's father and her stepsister. So, anyhow, um, protect yourself, say prayers. It does help. You might not feel that helping right away, but you will be blessed. You will get an answer of some kind or a sign. And so, when I was crying about Gannon, I was crying about Summer and frustrated about summer then I remembered the boys haven't been found either and nobody's been clink clink for the boys and so I, I was like God that's not fair it's not fair and I, I don't just cry for myself I, I'm not the only one who worked on the boys case there's so many people